Hello everyone, welcome to BLT's Bible Life Talks with Brian Corey. I'm so glad that you are with me on today. Listen, I want to leave us with this thought. Focus more on what you are doing and not where you are. Focus more on what you are doing and not where you are. In the world of real estate, it is all about location. Location, 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 location. If you were to talk to any realtor, whether you were selling a piece of property or whether you were purchasing a piece of property, they will tell you it is all about location. And sometimes we can take that same idea and concept and bring it into our own lives personally and begin to focus on where we are and not what we are doing. You see, if we're not careful, we can easily begin to compare ourselves to other people. Oh, so-and-so at 25, they had this. At 29, they had this. At 33, they had this. They had this degree. They had this car. They had this house. They had this family. They had this at 40. They had this at 45. They had all of these things. And if we're not careful, we'll begin to compare ourselves to other people's locations where we should be spending more of our time focusing on what it is that we are doing. What is it that we have been assigned to? What is it that we have been called to? What is it that we have been purposed for? Spend more time learning about that. Spend more time growing in that area. Spend more time increasing your capacity in that area and not focusing so much on where society says that you're supposed to be or what society says you're supposed to have or what society says concerning your relationships. Forget all that stuff. There is no rule book that says at a certain age, you have to be at this location. It does not exist. In fact, one of my friends actually has a clothing line and it's called Leo. It stands for live at your own pace. That's what it's all about. God has given each of us a pace that we have to run in. And so what if you get to that benchmark before I do? So what? As long as I'm running the race that God has given me and I'm running at the pace that God has given me and I'm learning what it is that I'm supposed to be learning, I'm growing in the areas that I'm supposed to grow. I'm developing in the areas that I'm supposed to develop. I'm becoming a better person because I'm going through these life's experiences or because I'm focusing on this specific task or this specific trade. That's what it's about. It's about focusing on what it is that we are called to do. Focusing on your work, not the work that someone else is doing, but focusing on the work that God has given you. And when we do those things, we will find ourselves free from anxiety, free from a lot of worry, free from a lot of stress, because we're realizing that we don't have to live up to the ideals of society. We don't have to live up to all of these social norms that place stress on us and says that we're supposed to be doing this particular thing with our lives, even though everybody is totally different. We don't think the same. We don't even walk the same. We don't even talk the same. We are totally different. But sometimes there is this pressure to compare ourselves to say at this moment in time or at this particular benchmark in my life, I'm supposed to be here. Forget all of that. Focus on what it is that you are supposed to be doing. Focus on your assignment. Focus on your passion. Focus on your giftings. Focus on the things that gives you joy and gives you happiness. Do those things. And don't worry about the location. Thank you so much for joining me for BLT's Bible and Life Talks with Brian Corey. I enjoyed talking with you on today, but I always look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Peace.